Alright, what's up everybody? Um, I realized that my uh, mic was not on, so my last recording was not doing it right. Um, but yeah, we're playing some Mythic Magic. It's Historic All Access, which means that you get to play with whatever you want that's available in Act Historic as long as it is legal. Um, and so I did have to go through some deck lists that were available, and the first one I found was Team of Marvel, and it is my favorite standard deck from back in the day. It is stupid, busted, um, I love the card. I have a whole EDH deck revolving around Ether X Marvel and energy. So we're gonna give this a whirl. Um, we actually won our first game against a ridiculous Ponza deck of some sort. Like we actually had all of our lands blown up at one point, but our opponent just could not close out the game. He just kept blowing up all their little dudes that tried to poke him for damage and just kept stalling them out. <laughs> and we eventually got enough lands out to effectively stabilize um, and kind of do it. Our thing, our opponent just gave up at a certain point. But let's go ahead and uh, run this out. Too bad that we have an artist lightning. <laughs> um, too bad for them.
this thing. This one only, but I got just four damage. It's really far. It's really far. It's really far. It's I nearly messed up by putting Ether Meltdown on their uh, Beastie Creature. I thought that they kicked it, but I guess they didn't. Uh, I realized that mistake, but it ultimately did not matter uh, because we used Umok to zap their dudes anyway. There is a idea where you can actually use Etherbox Marvel at instant speed, which is a possibility, but... We're not up against a control deck necessarily, and even if we are against a control deck, we just we want to like pop the rounds to make life extremely difficult for them. But yeah, um, all that life gain actually didn't matter. We were, um, we took like I think 14 points of damage, so we would have been dangerously low if it wasn't for all the life gain we had. Um, the puzzle knots got us like 12 life, pretty significant. Um, but yeah, pretty awesome. We got the W. It You know, like, doing the premature GG's, you know, kind of a, not a nice thing to do, but when you get Umlog out, you know, it's, I could not see a way for them to really deal with that, it's like, they would need, they're playing a giant stack, I would imagine they're playing a giant stack, a giant, but even then, like, they're still dealing with the next turn, they can still pop off. That is 
disgusting. I do not like this game. I don't like this game either. You can't just blow, blow up my land while not, like, uh, building up your board at all, because I'm just going to beat you up with Rogue Refiners. That's as simple as that. Here, you get to see that in action. Rogue Refiners are just winning me the game here, because, yeah, you can stop me from playing the game, but the problem is Rogue Refiners just replace themselves. They get me energy. They have a their sizable body, like I said. Um, and so I'm just going to keep cranking out lands, and eventually they're going to run out stuff, and they need to commit to the board at some point, and that will get me... The opportunity to play Aetherworks Marvel, which we don't get to see. No turn for Aetherworks Marvel, unfortunately, but oh well. This is one of my favorite decks um, to play, and I'm glad we get to run this out because we don't have the we don't actually have um, the deck put together. I don't have all the pieces. I have it in real life because <laughs> they're so cheap. Um, Aetherworks Marvel is worth like nothing, I, I think. But I still have my place set. We'll claim our prize. Go through the card by card. Um, this might be one of my shortest videos. We didn't lose a game, which is nice. Although the first one took forever, um, which you guys will not get to see. There's a lot of pawns and nonsense. Uh, let's see. So we got four abundant harvests. Um, very nice addition from uh, Mystical Archive, where we can guarantee our lands or none land. You know, if we need, we got all plenty of our lands. We just need to grab us. You know, our Aetherworks Marvel or some relevant spell, and this is handy. Uh, nice little one drop to go along with the Tune of the Aether, you know, as well as the premier turn one play. Um, searching deck for 
basic land, get two energy, something as simple as that. It, it was like running, it's better than like running a basic land, because it's like you get a basic land plus energy, nice. The energy is going to be super important because you basically need to count the six. Ideally, get that out turn one, turn two, do like a puzzle, Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot, turn three, Rogue Refiner, turn four, we should have like six or seven energy, Aetherworks Marvel, go to town. <laughs> That's the ideal play. We get Ulamog out. There's only three Ulamogs? Why are there only three Ulamogs? We need to increase our probability of getting an Ulamog out. Hold on. Increase that to four. <laughs> yeah, you might draw it, but like, uh, we need to increase our chances of Ulamog, hitting Ulamog with either Wix Mob. That is your win condition right there. Um, very rarely you're going to actually hard cast it. I thought we might actually do that against the, the Giants player at some point. Um, but yeah, so we got some, we have an interaction, uh, we saw that a lot, uh, well, you saw that, saw that a lot in the game against Gi the Giants player, um, I did that a lot against the Ponza player, who was constantly trying to throw out some, like, small little dorks, but I just kept harness lightning them, or I kept hitting them with Prismar Command, um, Ether Meltdown is another piece of interaction as well, it's got, you know, it's got Flash, so that's nice, um, you saw that we used that against their Giants, it was kind of foolish it didn't block, because, I guess they wanted to just trade, it's fine, because I don't think you should trade in that situation. You just let the three damage pass, because I just, unless they, they just didn't have burn spells, which is possible. Um, uh, let's see, so these are our interact pieces of interaction here. Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot helps us to like stabilize against more aggressive decks, while also giving us energy, because in total, for five mana, you get six life and six energy. The six energy you need to get get this uh, Aetherworks Marvel going. Expressive Iteration um, is one of the best two-man cantrips of all time. Um, being able to like almost guarantee a land drop, but also like drawing a card essentially, and kind of filtering your deck out a little bit. If you see those Ulamogs, toss them away. Uh, throw it back to the bottom because you do not want to draw those Ulamogs. Um, Prismari Command is a nice addition. Um, this deck was running, and I do like it. It because you kind of like go through more of your deck. It's fine, your Aetherworks Marvel, because you really need to find that Aetherworks Marvel um, eventually. <laughs> Because it took us a while to get there, but we got there against the Giants player. Um, and it's ni nice to also create a treasure token in a pinch where you need to really um, make uh, some more mana. Uh, two damage to also like deal it with any like small creatures that are annoying you, um, or just to finish off your opponent in a pinch. Um, and being able to blow up an artifact too. Um, again, come up. Uh, I don't really know what the meta would be like, but it, it's definitely a relevant effect because there are some powerful artifacts I'm sure out there. Um, Rogue Refiner, best speed drop right here, simple as that. Um, ETBs, draw a card, gain two energy, does everything you want. It's honestly the best card in the deck that's not named either with Marvel or Ulamog, or Wind Conditions, basically, because it just does so much heavy lifting for the deck. Um, does everything you need, like I said. It really helped bring together the Aetherworks Marvel deck back when it was in Standard. Um, I think it came out in Aether or Bolt, and yeah, it just really just brought it all together, because yeah, draw it. Being able to replace itself, having a sizable body, and yeah, like you saw that in that uh, last game, Rogue Refiner beats. You can blow up my lands, I don't care. You're gonna get beaten up by several three power creatures, and that's gonna be enough to win the game. Sometimes, <laughs> not the flashiest way, but it does the job. Um, Aetherworks Marvel, um, yeah, that's a win condition. Ulamog, that's also a win condition. Easy as that. Um, there's some little things here and there, but really, um, I'm not gonna get too much of the intricacies behind. I, know, I think I know pretty much all of them in and out. Um, the pr whenever primary control is put into a graveyard, you get energy. That doesn't come up often, but you did get to see that actually um, in the second, or no, the f game against the Giants, um, where I ran through the Marvel. I had so much energy where I could like spin this twice. Ran through the Marvel, found another Marvel. I didn't see the Ulamog. I was like, I was bummed at first, but I was like, oh wait, we got another chance. So basically, you get to dig 12 cards deep into your deck. And because we were. S we had so few cards left in our deck, relatively speaking. I think we had like maybe 20 left. The probability of finding that Ulamog was very high, although one of them was in our the very bottom of our deck. Um, yeah, this just increased your probability of hitting something relevant. Um, let's see, yeah, we got Ulamog, and then we got our lands, you know, it's, it's run whatever uh, team or lands you've got. Like, either hub is probably the most important one. Um, and very ch cheap, it's an uncommon, so definitely run a play set of this. Um, there's no reason to not to do that. Um, I know the, the rest of these lands are rare, so like just kind of like you spend your wild cards how you, 
the best scene effect because this is just a free format. Actually, no, wait, you don't need to um, do that because this is um, this is all access, so you don't have to worry about that. Actually. So yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, just run the optimize your land base right here. <laughs> optimize it and yeah, tinker with it, have some fun with it. Um, I had T Karn's Temple Sundry Meter as an extra turn spell, give you another whirl at the Marvel, but. Um, I saw that they didn't have a fourth blue mod. Better to run. It's better to run a fourth blue mod. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. It's a lot of fun for me personally because it's nostalgic. Hope you guys enjoy this.